hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is chimaima today we are going to do a whole new series i'm going to talk about my motivation and how i stay motivated in medical school um, this is the second most voted video in the poll that i put up some weeks ago so if this is what you're here for let's get started so um i will tell you about my motivation then after telling you about my motivation i'll give you suggestions and tips on how you can stay motivated in medical school especially in a period like this that many students are at home and you know because of the ASU strike there is no zeal whatsoever to study for my motivation my first motivation is my supervisor's husband my supervisor for those who do not know i'm a graduate of human anatomy i study human anatomy as a first degree before coming back to read medicine so in my first degree my supervisor's husband who was also a lecturer in the department so that in my i think final year so he called us all of us and was like you what do you want to do after anatomy you, what do you want to do people were just saying they want to do master this one say he wants to do this so when it got to my turn i told him that i want to go back to read medicine or i want to go in for masters and phd and become a lecturer see the way this man looked at me he was like you i beg those, those, that, those such plans are for intelligent people they are not for as in he was like such plans are not for olodos <sighs> i was like wow me olodo <laughs> i cried that day like i wrote it down in my diary and i said it that would prove him wrong and from that day i started proving him wrong I am still proving him wrong and I will continue to prove him wrong in Jesus' name. Amen. So he's like my number one motivation. Each time I remember that that man called me Olodo, like <laughs> it just keeps dragging my bum bum to sit down and read to prove prove him wrong. I know it may not be a good motivation, but for me, that is my number one motivation. Yeah. So my second motivation, my family, my friends, my church members those who know me and know that i'm intelligent they are expecting so much from me they are expecting that ah when she enters she will pass she will write like if you have never been in this kind of situation you would not understand the pressure that comes with having people have um, um hold you at such a high esteem um, having a reputation that you have to keep up to it is difficult so that is my uh, uh, second motivation motivation in, each time i think about it and i remember ah these people are looking up to me especially my siblings god my siblings most especially as a first child and ada so they are just expecting that ah she's always been doing well and so she will. so that is another motivation each time, each time i think about them eh i will sit down eh, and read my book again another um, motivation that i have is those that are waiting for me to fail i remember my best friend then when i told her that i wanted to read medicine she was like ah will you survive in that place that place that they used to fail people anyhow they used to withdraw people anyhow are you sure you will survive why not do something else that you know you you when you enter you know you will graduate so you know there are some other people too that I expect they are waiting for me to fail those probably those who know that i'm a graduate of anatomy they'll be like ah let her fail so that you know they'll be able to use it to make mouth and some other of my village people if you don't have village people then you're not in nigeria <laughs> so other of my village people basically there are so many people that are expecting me to fail like this my lecturer i'm sure he's waiting to hear that ah she fails so, so or she fails so that you say eh, eh, i talk her so there are so many people that are just expecting me to fail so each time i think about them it just makes me to sit down and read my book you another th thing that's my motivation is i hate not having knowledge i hate it as if i'm going to anywhere i like doing my research i like knowing what that place is all about i like having information and that is how i see it too if i attend a class eh, and my lecturer is you know talking about something that i don't know i've never heard of before i usually do not feel comfortable it gives me motivation to go and find out more about it if i'm having a discussion with somebody and it has to do with anything medical school anything that i should know naturally and i don't know it there's this feeling that i have please if you really do not if you do not usually have this feeling don't even bother you don't understand <laughs> but for those who usually have this same feeling with me you guys should comment please <laughs> like i hate hearing somebody talk about something that i do not know i like at least have i'm not saying necessarily knowing everything but at least having an idea of what this person is talking about 
So it whenever I think about being in class and you know how medical school is, especially clinical students, that they will just point at you and ask questions. I don't know it. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like it. I prefer maybe I have an idea and I, I you know hit and miss than not even knowing what the person is talking about at all. So that is another motivation that I another have. Another thing that is my motivation is I love being prepared ahead of time. I like being prepared. I, I don't like jumping into any plan or jumping into anything without being prepared. And exam included, I'll be inclusive. I like being prepared for my exams. Apart from the motivation to pass, I just have, I just love when I'm going for an exam and I feel prepared or I feel like ah, I've covered everything so at least I have an idea of everything. I don't like a situation where there's a particular topic I have not touched at all. Like if you talk, if you mention something that topic, now nah, I don't, I don't like it. I like being prepared ahead. So whenever I think about how I feel anytime I'm not prepared for exam, that fear, that heavy fear that comes in my heart anytime I'm not prepared for the exam, for exam, anytime I think about that feeling, eh, I don't know if I'll call it PTSD. But each time I remember the last time I sat in an exam hall and I did not know anything, my dear, I run and go and read and read again. Another thing that's my motivation is for those who do not know, I don't talk in exam. I don't ask and I don't tell. The only help that I have in exam hall is the Holy Spirit. So each time I remember that, ah, babe, if you enter exam hall, eh, it's only you, yourself and you. It makes me to sit down eh, and read again. So that's another of my motivation. That's another thing that makes me, keeps me going, keeps me studying. Another thing I have as my motivation is my children, my kids. I want my kids to be proud of me. I am so proud of my mom. For those who do not know, my mom has four postgraduate degrees and she had distinctions in her own time. So each time I, I remember my mom, like she handled all of this and she was married at that period. And she was still involved in church activities and so many other things. And she was still able to have distinctions. And I, I usually look at myself and I'm like, wait, but come on, which excuse do you have? I have no excuse whatsoever. I want my children to be proud of me. I want, I just want my kids to be proud of me the way I'm proud of my mom. So each time I think about my children and they'll be like, ah, mommy is, mommy, mommy is a doctor. Mommy had this. Mommy is passing. Mommy is not failing. Mommy is like... The way I idolize my mom in my mind, that is just how I want my children to idolize me. So that is one of my strongest motivation, my children. I love my babies. <laughs> That's my dear. So another motivation, very strong motivation is my dad. If you don't live in a Nigerian home, you would never understand what it means for your parents, to your dad in particular, to train you through a first degree you go for nyse and come back and you still tell them you want to do a second degree for them to train you again all right guys by tomorrow the next video would feature me telling you tips on how you can stay motivated how i stay motivated i've already told you about what my own motivation is i will now tell you how you can stay motivated please come back tomorrow for the part two i remain your girl jemima bye